Hello, hello everyone, welcome to QDesign. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create this glitch effect. This is a, a three-part series and in this um, first step I want to show you how to create this glitch effect. The second part would be how to create uh, the 2D text so it's resizable. And to create this counter would be the third part. But let's start with the glitch effect and the color grading. Okay, let's start with a simple rectangle. We need this rectangle, rectangle for our glitch. Glitch. And go for width and height. And add the material to it, also glitch and make sure this material is flat. Now we need the patch editor. We add to our patch editor, first of all, the texture. We need the texture where we all add the different patches to. And we need a camera texture. So go to camera texture extraction, add the camera extraction to the patch editor and now we need uh, the a LUT because we want to make sure that we have a different color grading as before. Color grading. And now we need three different patches from our library. So you can search uh, for patches assets right here and all over 99 different patches, some great, in this case, a, for example, the fast color LUT from Josh Peckwith. Um, if you want to learn more about the fast color LUT, for example, the fast color LUT retouching or how you create the fast color LUT, please watch this tutorial right here. And this one we add to our patches, fast color LUT. Also, we need the shift, so the RGB color shift, add this one too, right here, and a distortion, the texture distortion. You can of course uh, search for the patches right here if you want to. Perfect. And we start with the fast color LED. So. In this example, we just add a fast color LUT to our scene. So this is, uh, looks pretty nice. So this fast color LUT, I used uh, this before in this tutorial right here. If you want to know how to create with a fast color LUT, add it to a, a picker, watch this tutorial. And now we want to switch between the uh, camera texture and the fast color LUT. Uh, at a shift. So we have this uh, slightly RGB shift. So add this one right here. Yeah, perfect. But the shift is way too much. So it's just a little shift you see slightly. It's more a very um, ambient, uh, a different feeling, but not too much. And you see it's uh, a little bit lighter right now. So um, make sure that this is also working with uh, a lot of light. And uh, what I forget every time, make sure that your LUT, the compression is, uh, there's no compression. And of course the sam sampling is none. And now we want to add the texture distortion to it. So this is the glitch effect we want to add to it. Add the texture we created right here to the texture distortion shader and connect it again with the glitch. And now we need the distortion. We create an animation sequence in this uh, case and this is our or this one glitch sequence, just sequence, and add this to our patch. And the glit, uh, the animation doesn't have any texture in it, so make sure that you go to the glitch sequence or the animation sequence and add a texture, new texture. And I created this 
this texture right here. I searched in YouTube, I go just one bit back, search for glitch uh, VHS footage and found this footage right here from Christopher Huberts. You can download this whole footage 40 minutes uh, from gunroad.com and then I add the footage to After Effects and I convert the first four seconds with the media encoder and create a JPEG sequence from the first four seconds and want to use this again I use After Effects but you can of course uh, simply search for um, PNG sequence converter in Google I think you will find a solution for that now I add the sequence to um, my scene if you want to upload it later so you have to make sure it's not too big the whole project is not too big so you can uh, lower the quality from your sequence to make sure that you see it right here can make sure that is it not too much for your filter so you have no problems to upload the whole thing okay you connect now the glitch with the distortion and that's the final result if you want to change uh, the glitches a for me a little bit too much so when it's, it goes over the eyes of course you can search for uh, different uh, parts of uh, a footage video but uh, in my case i just go double click in the texture distortion shader and make sure it's not too much so just add the value so it's not too yeah way better for example a different style would be this <laughs> can also be, be possible but so you can change it a little bit and have more control about the distortion you create of course you can work with the this one right here but this is the easiest um, value you can change and when you change something and you want to open this again maybe make sure that you cover this patch so that the result you added right here is really in the whole project later and this that's it for this part of the tutorial in the next part i show you how to create uh, this 2d text so you have no trouble with different um, screen sizes so it change all the time and use as reference uh, the camera texture or not the de device te uh, size make sure you hit the like and subscribe Ding. button of course and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. And yeah, enjoy the process. Bye bye.